Tonight, new developments in the search for an alleged serial hit and run driver. Philadelphia police say that there is now a warrant out for the arrest of Nira Nicholas Hudson. They are asking for the public's help to find her, and Sialfa Lewis tells us the family of one of the victims is pleading for justice. Last December 26th, the day after Christmas, 32 year old Nira Nicholas Hudson is accused of causing three separate hit and run crashes. The first, outside of Rivers Casino on Delaware Avenue, left a 51 year old scooter driver hospitalized with a shattered leg. The second, at Broad and Spring Garden, left a 53 year old man hospitalized in stable condition. And the third, left 22 year old Roland Durrell White, a pedestrian, dead. On Wednesday night, members of Roland's family gathered at Broad and Lehigh, where he was left for dead, pleading for help, demanding answers, and airing their frustration. She go home every day or wherever she lay her head at and sleep peacefully. Y'all don't know how many restless nights I had trying to figure out what I could have done differently to make sure that my child made home safe. You left him there in the street and now you're running. That's cowardly. The family says they've called police almost daily, receiving few clear answers. I called the, me and my mom and my brother and his sister, call them at least. I call every Tuesday. My mom probably calls every day. My daughter calls at least once a week. My brother calls, but we're still here at a standstill. Don't know nothing. But more than anything else, they made impassioned pleas that Nira Nicholas Hudson turn herself in. It took them to May the 17th to get a, a arrest warrant for her. Then today to find out that they don't know where she is. They have no idea where she is. I'm coming to you, not not being mean, not being hostile. It hurts, but just turn yourself in. The family is offering a reward for an undisclosed amount for any information leading to a conviction in this case. If you know where Nira Nicholas Hudson is, you're asked to call Philadelphia Police. Siafa Lewis, CBS News, Philadelphia.